Natalie. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> good um, What's going on here? <laughs> what is it? Uh, Wissenschaft, science. Um, what's happening today? Also, what's we have, uh, um, Can you introduce yourself, yes. please? Yes. I'm Thomas Serbuk, and I'm a professor at ETH, the former head of science at NASA. And uh, we're here next to uh, the James Webb Space Telescope, one of uh, my missions, four times larger than this. And what we're doing today is we're, uh, we're uh, making public uh, what we're doing. We're opening up the discussion of our research to the public in many different areas. Astrophysics, Earth science, planetary sciences, and many others. Why it's so important? Why this subject so important for today? What is the reason why it's so popular? Because I can tell that so so many people they are very interested and uh, we appreciate everything what you are doing today. So what is the reason why? Well, I mean, first and foremost, uh, science and uh, exploration is important because it's uh, an, exp uh, an expression of hope. It's uh, coming people coming together and exploring nature and new. But what's also important, and there's earth science there, you know, really the future of Earth, what are we doing and uh, how it's going forward relates to space and what we're learning from there. Can you show a little bit uh, what uh, how the most important on the part of the exhibition today? Well, I mean, so this is uh, the James West Space Telescope. Six and a half meter primary mirror at the front, protected by five uh, shields that are the area of a tennis court. And, uh, and it's looking at the, at the universe as it's as we speak, uh, kind of exploring the deep universe, big galaxies that's being discussed over there, but also planets outside of uh, our solar system elsewhere. So that, that's what that's doing in a way we've never seen it. It's a great honor. Thank you. We Thank appreciate you. Yeah, Thank you. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Hi Nicholas, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. My name is Sophie. Nice to meet you, Sophie. <laughs> what do you have today here? Um, here you can see two autonomous racing cars. Um, they belong to a platform that is called uh, F110. Uh, this aims to be a competition uh, that mimics Formula One at the 1 to 10 scale. Um, this is an international competition that is held at robotics conferences um, where different universities uh, race against each other to fi find out who is the fastest and the most intelligent uh, car. And who is the fastest and more intelligent? Pardon me? Who is the most faster and the more intelligent? At the moment uh, we, we uh, competed with our student team uh, around two months ago uh, at the ICRA 23 competition in London and our students managed to uh, reach the first place. Cool! Congratulations! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> My name is Peber. Can you introduce yourself? I'm uh, Andy, I'm working for the Remote Sensing Laboratories. And what we do here is we work with light and the measurements of light. And we've got a device here called the spectrometer. And it'll show us the reflectivity of different materials. So like here, we can put things under this lamp installation. And then the reflected light will show on the screen behind me. And whatever we put on the screen will show a different type of... Um, spectrum here so that's what we've got and this is our installation you can see the light you can see the sensor different materials being placed so right now we've got here that's yes. 
what, um, what, why we have all this uh, stuff, lights and throws? Yeah, so and... what you can try is you put um, one of these leaves you've got here. So we switch that material and you can put a leaf if you like. Just put it under the sensor. Okay, so it's now being observed and uh, like on the screen back here, you see that typical form of a motion spectrum. Like in the beginning, you've got like a green peak. This is the visible for the humans and then it rises into the infrared. Thank you very much and why it's so important for today? Why why you're here? Why it's so important for uh, humanity? This, for this is why? actually uh, the basis here that allows us to assess what the satellite actually measures from space. So like this instrument shows us the reflectance of objects that we can make here in satellite images and we can actually test the hypothesis using that instrument. We appreciate so much, thank you and well, everything the best. Thank you so much. Hi. Hello. Can you introduce yourself? My name is Sophie Berry. What is your name? My name is Philip Meyer. I'm a also at the ETH Zurich, so we are at the Electrotechnical Department in the center for project-based learning. So our main aim is practically threefold. So one is education. So we have a lot of projects with very young, very motivated students where they learn hands-on the skills required to be an engineer. So today we brought all our work in the domain of robotics. So we have autonomous racing cars, we have autonomous drones, and also uh, a robot dog today. We have also autonomous versions of them, but today this is a commercial product for fully remote Can we use it for peaceful ways or for what is the, the best way to Of course. It's it's discussable what is the real application for it. Our aim when you see it in the videos on the screen is to have a guidance dog for blind people. It's much faster uh, to train and also cheaper in the end than this highly trained guidance dog. However, I have to be honest, the way as, until we get really fully autonomous dogs is uh, quite a challenge. You want to control it? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure. <laughs> Can you keep it so? No, no, but me, <laughs> sure. You are, are star here, so we so have to start. You go to the front and oh. to the back, and here you can rotate it. You believe uh, this dog can replace real dog? Depends on what, right? If you look at all this uh, social interaction, you have a dog, I, I guess in Europe, not uh, in, in Japan, maybe, where people are much more open for robotics. But there are for sure certain applications where it makes sense. Very interesting. Thank you. Welcome. Thanks. Nein, muss You are the key global change and biodiversity. Cool. Can I help you? Yes, please. Do you want to be on YouTube? As you wish. I'm yes, I wish. Can you please introduce yourself? What is your name? I'm Cengiz. I'm working in the University of Zurich in the University of Research Biot program about global change and biodiversity. And why are you here? Why it's so interesting and so important for society and for today? I think it's because it's first of all it's basis of the life. That's like that's about life. Biodiversity means life above all. And that's of course uh, the, the everything is related to biodiversity, like the, 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 the stability of the system, stability of the ecosystem, stability of the health and nature. 
all the way to Dubai Diverse. So. Can you show a little bit around? Sure. Yes, like these are uh, from the uh, Alpine Meadows, uh, the, the biodiversity, different biodiversity plots or universes, little universes. This, as you can see, there are more flower plants in it and more biodiverse, which means more interactions, which means more relationships, which means more uh, stability of the system, as there are more relationships there. So you start to, to you, st you start to 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 build your project because you would like to uh, for i don't know to participate in, in one of uh, elon musk's projects or no. do you want to <laughs> move to mars or i have absolutely zero interest in the elon musk <laughs> personally <laughs> and i don't think he's doing anything my personal opinion he's doing anything maybe you can grow you know mm -hmm. everything um, when we are moving to to mars finally <laughs> i don't think uh, that is not at all my priority because my priority is to save the life in this earth when there is already life in this earth why should i uh, go to mars to build a okay i don't see because the same money you can spend here to protect the species who are endangered thank and i you. think yeah that's my interest. thank you Ha, 